Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Hey, uh, I gotta go into Walmart real fast. Uh, first of all, does this hat make me look Amish? Um, matter of fact, now that I say Amish, let's look here. I don't know, did you catch the little Amish people behind me? Where'd they go? Yeah, anyways, if you guys are watching this vlog and you're new to it, thanks, and hit the subscribe button if you would. Like I said, I go to Walmart here, uh, get a few things, and then I'll talk a little bit to you guys a little bit later how we got broken into, and I caught them in the act. And I'm going to show you guys how I did it, and I'm going to show you, uh, talk to you guys a little bit about it. Let's go to Walmart and get a few things. Well, as soon as I got to the car, someone had to go to the bathroom, didn't you, Hadley? Didn't you, Hadley? Hell, he had to go. But, like I said, hey, we went to a parade a little bit ago. They was in it. I'll show you guys some footage of it uh, coming up next, and then when we get home, um, I'll talk to you guys about how we caught the intruders and uh, what we did with them. Hopey. Brandon. How you doing, Hadley? How you doing? Good. Say you want to be in the vlog? Sir? Yes. Does this hat make me look like a Amish? Oh, what's up, man? <laughs> Do I look like an Amish guy with this hat on? A little bit. The beard really sells. Is, that, is it the beard? Yeah, I think it's the beard. <laughs> See you, bud. Take care. Take order whenever you're ready. A small caramel macchiato, and that'll be all. Hot or cold? Hot. Hot. Alrighty, that would be 219 at the window. Thank you. Hey guys, just got back to the house. Uh, I gotta get some wood uh, on the wood stove. It's going to be like 12 degrees tonight. And uh, it's, oh, I don't know if you can see it. It's freezing out here. So I'm going to get some wood. I'm going to put it up uh, in the stove. There we go. I'm going to get some wood and I'm going to put it on the wood stove. Get that stoked up for the night because we're about to hit, uh, go to bed. Um, but then I'm going to talk to you guys real quick uh, about a few Christmas ideas I have for uh, for some of you guys. If you guys are looking for some ideas for your husband or boyfriend or uh, teenager. Um, pretty good ideas. A um, couple things that I use all the time and I'll show it to you guys. But first let's get this uh, wood stove stoked. That's a big, that's an all-nighter right there. But this one's gonna get it going. We'll put a couple of these on there. Got the old damper open. All right, guys, I'm in the kitchen now. I have a little bit better lighting in here. But what I got you on here, before I start talking about the intruder that came in and we caught him, I'm going to show you guys a few things that I'm going to recommend for some Christmas gifts for uh, your uh, loved one. Uh, I talked to Daniel from Arms Family Homes today, and he was talking about how he's, he's had quite a bit of viewers uh, wanting to know his top 10. Well, that's a pretty good idea. I got more like the top three. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and share it with you guys real fast. Uh, the first one, what was that? The first one 
um, is a flashlight I've had for about six months now. And I bought it off Amazon. Oh, it was under $10, I'm pretty sure. J5 Tactical. Um, I'll put a link for all this stuff uh, down below. But this has been a really good flashlight for me. So, yeah, the J5 Tactical. You check that out. I'll put the link below. And also, my uh, Casio, I think you can call it Casio, um, G-Shock is the name of this watch I got. And I've had this thing for probably like three years, and it's awesome. It's a military-style watch, and I'll show it to you guys. You can see it right here. You can see, got the old low-profile red light. And it's got about everything you can think of. A stopwatch, different time zones. Let's see here if I can get the actual. Mm. I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know if the lighting's very good. There you go, Casio. Shock. G-Shock. It's, it's EOD green. Let's see if you can see a little better in the light. Yeah, like I said, it's EOD green. Really cool uh, watch if you're looking to get a watch for uh, for somebody. Uh, I recommend this one. I've had this for three years now. It's a, it's a little bit higher price. I can't remember exactly how much it was. Um, but I'll put a, I'll try to find this and put a link below. They might not even make these the same one. I'm sure they got upgrades now. But I'll put one. I'll put a link down below. But uh, yeah, for especially uh, being uh, a marine, um, I like my tactical stuff, and this is this is a pretty cool knife. Uh, pr pretty cool uh, watch. I don't always wear it all the time. But like on like during the winter, I, I wear it quite a bit because I don't want to dig out my phone when it's cold out and all that stuff. I can just look at my wristwatch. And my third gift that I highly recommend for anyone that goes outdoors at all during the winter is the old Carhartt. You can see that right there. I've had this thing since last Christmas, and I wear it every day I need to wear it when it's cold. And uh, tonight we went to the parade. All I have is a t-shirt on and this thing, and I didn't get cold one time. And it was it was literally 20 degrees uh, out there tonight, um, tonight during that parade. You guys seen the little clips of the parade. 20 degrees. I walked behind it. It wasn't cold at all. Um, so I highly recommend getting a Carhartt, and I'll take this off and show it to you guys. Yeah, but you can see this one. It has an internal pocket inside and another one I actually carry my pistol uh, in there whenever I don't want to use my holster just stick it in there comes with the hood it has the elastic band which is it's really good during the winter it keeps the cold air coming up through the draft up here I had another one that didn't have this and um, it, it was no good you got to get one that has this you can see it here just a regular old Carhartt yeah, so those are my three gift ideas. Um, just stuff I use on a daily basis. Like I said, anytime it's cold out, I'm wearing a Carhartt. Uh, the flashlight is a must right here. Um, this is a cheap $10 or less flashlight. Um, works awesome. Uh, the battery life, I haven't put new batteries in. I've had it for over six months, and we use it every night. I go out and check the chickens and all that stuff. So, yeah, that flat, if I was going to get one cheap gift for, uh, for anybody, it would be a flashlight. And this flashlight is J5 Tactical. So go check that out. All right, guys, now it's time to get down to why you're actually watching this video because you probably want to know uh, the intruders I caught and uh, what they were doing in here and how I caught them. So the thing is, these intruders come, only come around during the winter time. it seems like. When it gets cold outside, they are a problem. And when they are a problem, whenever we start finding their poo around the edges of the corners where they're running around, and uh, yeah, that's right, poo, they're, they're mice. They have taken over, they take, they had taken over our house. I've caught, I caught like four or five within like a four day period. Uh, and that's unacceptable, uh, especially when the wife sees them in the morning or the kids run, runs by them in the morning, the kids, and they're freaking out. I got three girls and uh, they all freak out when they see one. So um, I've, like I said, I've caught four or five in the last four days or five days, something like that. I, I use the traditional mouse trap that snaps their neck real fast. Well, they're eating the peanut butter, and these, these are like super mice. They're eating the peanut butter and the cheese off, off of them. So I went and bought some of these. And these traps, I know a lot of people don't like using them because uh, they get stuck on there, and you hear them squealing in the middle. The first time I ever used one, you know, you hear, rrr, 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 and at night, I'm like, oh, man, I caught a mouse on there. It's just, that's the one downfall of these things that um, they get stuck on there, and then you have to dispose of them. Uh, but I'll tell you what I do. Um, I'll, I catch these. I catch the mice on these things, and what I personally do, I don't let them suffer. I end them quick with the 
with the knife blade to the back of the neck. I mean, it's a quick, uh, quick clean death. I know um, a lot of a lot of you people, just like myself, don't like taking the lives of any animal. Um, but when you got little mice running around the house, it's not a healthy environment at all. You got to get rid of them and clean and get it cleaned up because they will get into everything. You guys know that just as well as I do. Uh, but yeah. Um, I recommend these traps. Like I said, um, you'll catch them alive, but then you have to dispose of them, take care of them. That's the one downfall of these, but I'm like, I had like a hundred percent catch rate with these. Um, I know a lot of you guys aren't going to uh, agree with this, but they work for me and I'm going to continue to use them. So, but anyways, um, yeah, if you guys are looking for a mouse trap, I'm telling you right now, these ones, the glue traps work awesome. Um, you won't have them stealing the cheese. Actually, I'll show you when I got set up right now. There's the one I got set up right now. I just put a piece of cheese down below. Want to come out here? Caught it. All right, guys, that's all I got for the vlog today. I just want to tell you guys about the intruders that took over the house. I got to go outside and find out where they're coming in from. Uh, there's no telling. One thing we should have done was whenever we built this, we should have put some kind of uh, rodent uh, grade wire or something uh, from the house down to the ground so they couldn't dig underneath there. That's one mistake I made that I, I regret because uh, this is the second year we've had problems with them. But uh, I actually haven't caught one in like, I don't know, two or three days. So that's pretty good. There for about a four or five day span, I caught one every day. Uh, so now that, they actually look like they died down quite a bit, literally. Uh, but uh, it's getting cold. It's going to be like, uh, I don't know, 12, 8 degrees. I think they said a wind chill of 6 degrees. So it's going to be like, it's going to be really cold in the morning. So I expect um, I have to go out there tomorrow and find out where they're coming in from. Uh, plug that off, fix it, do something, take care of it. But I hope you guys like the vlog. Um, I'm going to try to do a vlog tomorrow too sometime. Uh, it's getting late, so I'm going to get off here. If you guys do like the vlog, uh, hit that like button. Um, if you're new to my vlog, um, I don't vlog a whole lot, but I'm going to start doing a little bit more. Um, I usually just do like how-to videos, stuff like that. But I wanted, I wanted to get a vlog out today and just share how I caught the intruder. Intruders. And uh, give you guys a few uh, Christmas ideas. And like I said, I got this idea about the Christmas ideas from Daniel from Orange Family Homesteads. Go check him out. Talk to you guys later.